I know we're going to have a great time. You guys are all going to be a, having a spectacular experience on the on the Middle Fork, which is one of the best wilderness areas in in the whole world. Actually, it's uh, it's 2.3 million acres of just pure wilderness, and I think you guys are going to have a fabulous time. It takes a lot of food to feed 30 people for six days on the river with all the guests and all the guides. We've got all kinds of great meals. We do two entrees every night. We've got things like you know, tri-tip and ahi tuna. We've got fried chicken and baby back ribs. And just every night we have really great selections, give people a lot of options. We're doing fresh baked breads every day. Our lunches, we try to switch it up every day so people don't know what to expect. Great big salads, um, big sandwich bars, things like that. And, same with our breakfast. We try to give people a really good selection. It's pretty fun to be able to show people great food in the most remote place in the country. Middle Fork is, is one of our favorite rivers of all. This is truly one of the great rivers of the world. It's 100 miles in length and it's a very pristine place. It offers a lot of variety of challenges. The white water is spectacular. The, the quality of the river is fantastic. It's got great fishing. Sometimes we'll catch 75 to 100 fish a day here on the Middle Fork, and it's one of my all-time favorite places to share with people from all over the world. Fly fishing out of one of these drift boats, the best way to, to access these cutthroat and, and rainbow trout on the Middle Fork. Then we also have rafts which accommodate uh, three to six people. We also uh, bring some inflatable kayaks on these trips so people can have an opportunity to follow one of the rafts. out this trip saying this is the best morning ever then it was the best afternoon ever and now at the end of the trip this has been the best trip ever fabulous fishing I've never caught so many fish the guides were amazing they always put me in the place where all the fish were told me where to put my fly and then they told me the history of the place the geology the geography the whole trip was wonderful amazing amazing country here and I just wish more people could see it and experience it's been a trip of a lifetime. It's just about you, your friends, your family and enjoying these beautiful places together and learning together about how to fish going on these hikes, enjoying the hot springs, it really gets you back down to basics. And I think watching families come together on these trips and the relationships that build over the course of six days on the Middle Fork is something that sticks with people for a lifetime. And that's what makes people really come back. I've got four children and they're so busy at home to get them away from all their activities. It's been a real treat. But seeing them all work together, it's been great getting up in the morning, getting their gear packed coming in at night, getting all showered up, sitting around the fire, watching them interact with some of the other guests here. I think it's a real growing experience. Now for the kids, being able to drop a line in the water, hit the, you know these different holes, and to see uh, these fish rise is a real treat. It's been fun watching everybody catch so many fish and watching the kids catch fish. Can't think of anything better to get the kids out of the, out of the rat race, get them on the river, exposed to all this nature out here and you know real good family time so you know this is this is one of the top trips that we've taken and probably you know will ever take all the fishing we do down here is with dry flies so we get to see the fish come up and eat the fly every time we cast it out there we have a chance at catching a 14 or 15 inch cutthroat trout. That's the majority of the fish that we catch in here is cutthroat. There's some bull trout as well that'll occasionally come up and eat your dry fly. Most of the time you're gonna catch fish. If the river is in good shape, nice and clear, and there's a bug hatch going on, you're gonna be hooked up. There's a great hiking trail along the Middle Fork of the Salmon. 
A lot of our guests enjoy taking off on a morning hike, hiking down river for a few miles, and then our boats will float down and pick them up at a designated point farther down the river. It gives you people a chance to get out, have a little exercise, and then get in the boat and then finish out their day riding down the river. There's trail for 80 miles on the river. I think one of the things that does set us apart is the quality of our guides and the quality of the, of the food and the quality of the equipment that we offer. You know, we have hot showers, we have great tents. People have a very comfortable experience here. We have a big supply boat that hauls all of our camp supplies down the river. And we, they go down and set up a, a beautiful deluxe camp. So when our guests arrive, everything is set up for them. All of their tents, tables, cots, chairs, everything is set up in camp. So when our guests arrive, they can go have a, a beverage or they can have hors d'oeuvres and everything is uh, done ahead of time. It's a great family trip here on the Middle Fork because it offers something for everybody. There's good fishing, great rafting, and beautiful campsites uh, to camp on and great hiking and fun things to explore. By far and away, I would definitely recommend it for a person that loved to fish or wanted to learn how to fish. All in all, uh, it's an unbelievable trip. This vacation with the Helfrich Outfitters on the Rogue River is the ultimate family vacation. You're in nature, you're with each other, you're having conversations. There's a lot of quiet time. You just let the river do the talking sometimes and there's just some real solitude and you get to know each other again. It's, it's a great family vacation, absolutely. Argo landing this morning, getting ready to launch on a four-day Rogue River trip. This is a four-day lodging trip through the uh, wild and scenic wilderness section of the Rogue River. Uh, this is uh, the middle section of the river, which is uh, going through the coast range on the uh, coast range is a range of mountains uh, to the west of the Cascades. So, one of the few rivers that actually originates in the Cascades and then flows through the coast range on its way to the ocean. So this is a, uh, a unique, wonderful place to be this time of year. Our guides are all very experienced fishermen and boatmen and they, they do a great job and very patiently teach people how to catch fish and put you in the right water to catch fish. Our 
first night on the river at Black Bar Lodge, we prepare a nice uh, meal of filet mignon, Dutch oven biscuits. We have a mushroom stir fry that goes over the steaks. We have fresh vegetables and a nice spinach salad. It's a wonderful dinner that night. Our second night is at Muriel Lodge, and Muriel is a wonderful place. Great hospitality, great food, and, and just a fun place for people to spend the second night on the river. Our third night is at Illahi Lodge. Illahi is an Indian word for growing earth. It's a wonderful place for, for folks to spend the night. It's, it's a natural uh, place for the Indians where they had big gardens. Great facility for, uh, for us to use for our last night on the river. Illahi is also located right in the heart of the best fishing water on the river. Evenings at the lodges are a, a lot of fun. People can play games. They have, uh, have a, a chance to sit around and tell stories and, and talk and just really have a nice bonding opportunity with family and friends. Each day we stop for lunch along the river and find a nice uh, comfortable place for people to relax and enjoy uh, a couple hours at noon. Uh, we put on uh, cooked fresh fish that's been, been caught that morning and we're able to have a, a good salad or some soup and uh, nice amenities to go along with our, our fish lunch. This is a, a great place for people to learn how to fish. It, you don't have to have a lot of fishing skill. You just have to be able to put your line in the water and twitch your fly and you're going to catch fish on the Rogue. This is a, a great place for people that are, are good fishermen as well because they can uh, really hone their skills and they, there's lots of structure that we can cast around and cast to. It's fun to find the fish in the little pockets and also uh, out on the breaks. There's just lots of uh, variety of different kinds of water to fish. In my mind, it's a great family river because everybody will catch a fish one, at least one day. And I love to fish. So I might catch fish a little bit differently, fish a little harder than everybody else. But that's one of the joys of this river is that I can fish as hard as I want. The people that don't want to fish that hard can do that and they can enjoy the scenery and everything else. But there's a warm shower every night, which is great. You have a sit down meal every night, which is fantastic. And so anybody can go. It's very, very comfortable. Anybody can come on this river and enjoy it. One thing about the fishing that I love uh, is I was a little intimidated when I first came. Never picked up a fly rod before. I was, I was a little nervous and didn't want to embarrass myself. Um, but I got out there and the guides are so kind and gentle and give perfect instruction to the layperson who's never fished before. And I'm proud to say on my fourth trip, I've had two guides compliment me on my casting. So <laughs> I really feel like I've come a long way and I, I really embrace the sport now, love it, um, mainly because I get to spend quality time with my husband and kids and my family around me.